my dog got out a little bit ago and I saw him eating something and now he's, he's lazy and he's not responding to me and he's vomiting and throwing up and I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Okay, let me take him to one of the technicians so I can get him. Was he dying? No, I'm, we're going to try to stabilize him first, okay? And then we'll let you know more about what seems to be the problem. Do you know what he ate? I don't know, I just saw him eating. He was standing next to, next to this plant. It looked like it looked like a palm tree, but it was short, and he was just eating this round. It looked like a seed, but it was big, and I don't know what it was. And I, I don't even know why it would do this to him. Do you know when, what's his, like, when was the last time you fed him? I fed him this morning around 8, and he won't eat anything ever since. What, do you know like, what his symptoms are? What other symptoms does he have? Other um, I was petting him and trying to rub his stomach, and he was like crying from rubbing his stomach, but he's just been throwing up, and di he has diarrhea, and I don't. How long ago was this? Like an hour, hour and a half ago. Uh, what, has he had any uh, surgeries in the past? No. And uh, what are his allergies? Do you know any? No, nothing. Okay. How about you sign some papers and then and then we'll take you to a room and then the doctor will let you know about more about what's going on. Diego, start IV fluids. Uh, LRS solutions. Uh, Melissa, can you get uh, a blood draw and go run a CBC on mm -hmm. it? Daniel, can you give me uh, some apple morphine? Yes, sir. So do you know why my dog is sick? Do you um, know what it is that he ate? The, the technician's going to come right in and tell Hi, ma'am. I'm Diego. I'm the technician. The one who took your dog in earlier. Uh, so far, we've gotten stabilized. I just need to ask you for more questions. What's the? You said he ate something. Uh, do you know? Yeah, the tree, like, it was short, but it looked like a palm tree. But it was short, so I don't understand. Okay. I've never even seen it before. Did it look like this? Yeah, it looked exactly like that. Okay, that's a sego palm. They're actually very, very toxic to dogs, um, even the seeds. Uh, like, do they taste good? Why do he eat it? I don't they understand. They do taste good. Um, to dogs. I wouldn't know from personal experience, but dogs apparently do enjoy the taste of them. Uh, best thing you can do is keep them away from them. Uh, now that we know what the toxin was, we can go, but I'm going to head back there, tell our doctor, and so that we can better his treatment right now. He's doing okay, but now that we know what we're up against, we can better prevent it. Okay, thank you. Alright, doctor, according to the client, it appears that he ingested a sago pond. He said what? According to the client, it appears that the dog has ingested a sago palm. Sago palm? Yes. All right, we're going to need to swap this out from LRS to 0.9% sodium chloride. We don't okay. want the liver to work any harder at uh, taking the uh, lactate out. Hey, Doc. Um, I evaluated the CBC, and there's an increase in white blood cells, and there's a couple of schistocytes. Schistocytes? Mm -hmm. All right, since he ingested a sago palm, go ahead and run a Kim Pam on the IX machine. Okay. Uh, we want to check and make sure the liver's doing good. Okay. okay. I'm take here at the hospital. I just want to talk to you and give you the pamphlet of uh, sago palms. Your, your dog came in showing clinical signs, common clinical signs. So he was vomiting, diarrhea, lethargic, and he had abdominal pain. So that's normal findings, but he might have later on jaundice, which is like yellowing of the uh, mucous membranes. And he might show it within two to three days uh, liver damage. But the doctor's going to go ahead and come and talk to you about that. Um, there's other names for the sable palm. Most common is cycads. And uh, basically, um, I'm going to give you this pamphlet so you can look over it and see that sable palms are a toxicity to your dog. And do you have any other um, household pets? I have an indoor cat. You have an indoor cat. Okay, well, it's very rare for a cat to ingest a sable palm unless it's an outdoor cat. But regardless or not, um, it can be acute renal failure in cats if they ingest the sable palm. So just Keep your cat inside. I'm sure that shouldn't be a problem. And um, the doctor will come here and talk to you about the sago palm and let you know what he wants to do with your animal. Okay. Thank you. Here you go. Hi, John. Hi. Um, Doctor. I worked on your animal. Um, so my tech came in and spoke with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what all did she let you she know? She just told me info about the plant itself mm -hmm. um but she didn't tell me what y'all's plan is with him okay we are uh with your permission we're going to keep him over um in the hospital um 
the reason for that is there is a 50-50 chance that he could make it. Okay. Um, the toxicity of this of sago palm is um, you know, possibly life-threatening, like I said. Um, it attacks the, the kidneys, or not the kidneys, excuse me, the liver. And your liver produces a lot of enzymes and things that your body needs to survive. Um, if he doesn't stay and you decide to take him home, chances are without the proper care and monitoring and whatnot, uh, he, could, he could pass, okay? Um, are there any other questions that you may have? What, um, what are y'all going to give him? Uh, different medications for um, the liver. Uh, we're going to try to get all the, the toxins out of his body. Uh, right now, he's, he's, we've induced vomiting, so he's vomiting a lot of that stuff out. We give him some activated charcoal to, to it collects all the toxins and everything. So we're going to make sure he has all that out um, over the next couple of days. We're going to be running tests to make sure that his liver is, is okay, and uh, and then we'll we'll keep we'll keep you updated on, on his progress and everything. In this pamphlet, it says something about um, vitamin K and lactulose. Vitamin K is in that is produced by your your liver. Okay. That uh, that is a very important um, enzyme or vitamin that uh, your body needs to produce uh, different uh, factors of coagulation. And right here it says lactose will keep the liver from working too hard, is that true? Yes. Okay, well I'd like for him to stay here then. Okay, uh, let me get back there and uh, continue his, uh, his treatment. Thank you. Okay, feel free, feel free to call us up and uh, to check in, check in on him. Um, uh, I encourage you to come down whenever you have free time or whatever, because I know he's a part of your family. Come down, see him, and uh, we'll have you a little room so you can do that. Thank you. Okay? You have a good day. Hi, I'm Diego, and welcome to VTX Story. Today, we saw a case of sago palm toxicity in Chico Palm, a very, very nice dog. Now, dogs, when they ingest sago palms, have very, very many clinical signs. This includes blood in the feces, diarrhea, and dehydration for, as a result of that. There's also an increased thirst and increased urine production because the body is trying to get rid of the toxin. Now, sago palms are also known as sias more commonly. That's their scientific name. However, in the, in the plant community and even at garden centers, they don't inform you that sago palms are toxic. So make sure to keep a lookout and look for other dangerous plants as well. Today, you witnessed them administering 0.9% sodium chloride. Now, this is in order to rehydrate the patient. You don't use typical LRS because that is more work on the liver and you don't want anything else, anything else for the liver to do. You just want it to get rid of the toxin and that is all. Luckily, Chico Paul survived and there was a 50-50 chance that he wouldn't, even with aggressive treatment. Sago palms are very, very toxic. You also witnessed them administering apple morphine intra to their eye. That was to end up vomiting. As a result, Chico got most of the toxin out, as well as with the aid of the active, activated charcoal that bounds the toxins that were already in his body. Now, when we send him home, we make sure to give him vitamin K1 supplements and lactulose. This was in order to help the liver regain its normal function, and so that way he can hopefully get better. Now, also, cats are known to ingest sago palms as well. However, cats don't necessarily put everything in their mouth like dogs do. Cats, however, you will see acute GI failure and renal failure. Everything, every single part of the plant is toxic, including the seeds. The seeds are known to be the most toxic. The roots, the leaves, and the seeds are all very bad. And that is all for today. I hope you learned something new today, and that is all from BTI Sorry. Thank you. Go! Seriously. Right, you know.